Hi everyone, today we are going to use Kirby Splines to make this moving camera that follows uh, this cart uh, to make it switch to a fixed camera when the rail cart reaches some specific positions on the spline. So I'm starting with uh, this setup, which is uh, a modified, a slightly modified one from the example scene 25. So if I had, if I hide, sorry, all the unnecessary stuff, the most important objects are the following. So we have this rail cart. We have the rail track path that is used to generate the rail track and to move the cart uh, on. And we have also uh, this moving camera that moves with the rail cart and a fixed one that is disabled. Uh, so let's start. Camera switch will be done using uh, a custom event in this plan controller. So for those of you who don't know, the controller is the component that will make the object follow uh, a spline or a path or a volume. In this case, it's a spline controller. You define the position, the speed, and a lot of other uh, options. And if you go to the events section, you will see, uh, in addition to the events that were already existing, uh, starting from Curvy Splines 8, we have this uh, on position reached event. So this event will, sorry, one second, I will hide this again. Uh, this event will allow us to define a, a, a random position uh, anywhere on the spline and make it trigger specific uh, functions. So let's call this first event. We are going to need two uh, events, one to uh, enter the fixed camera and one to exit it. So this one will be enter fixed camera. Oh. And let's create the second one, exit fixed camera. Okay, this one will be green. This one red. Okay, so you have two ways to define a position, either by moving the gizmo, like here, or by changing the value in the inspector of position. So here I'm using uh, absolute mode positions, so the values are in meters. If I had used the relative, it the value should be between 0 and 1. 0 for the start of the spline and 1 for its end. Uh, so triggering directions, um, it can be either like whatever direction the object reaches that position uh, will trigger the, the event, or in some cases you might want just one of those uh, two specific directions. I will keep mine to all. And now, well, maybe I will move this one a little bit. Okay, that's better. Now, <coughs> let's say what should happen when the controller reaches this position. So here for the first event, we are going to make the moving camera disabled and the fixed one enabled. So those are uh, regular Unity events, so nothing uh, new here. And here we are going to do the opposite. So moving camera will be enabled and a fixed camera will be disabled. Okay. And here, okay. Uh, I think everything is good now. So let me move this scene view here. Game mode, okay. Let's hit play. Okay, the camera has switched and then switch back. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. So, uh, yeah, I hope this helped and have a nice day.